Adam, thanks to your outstanding achievements in the field of media and innovation, you have been chosen to be among those 1,000 pioneers to travel to the planet next one. And before you undertake this thrilling journey, you must answer six key questions. So if we can, let's roll question number one. Question number one is, name one luxury physical object that you want to take to your new home. My bathtub. Done. I mean, I think we're just going to leave that there. because <laughs> I, I think it's better like that. Yeah, exactly. You know, we all like a bath. Okay, let's roll question number two. Name one exceptional person who should qualify to be among the first thousand pioneers with you. Ooh. Okay, this slightly links to what I was talking about, but my friend, my dear, dear friend, uh, Lubomira Roche, who's the chief digital officer of L'Oreal, I don't think anyone is pushing um, brands to do important, great work more than she is. And I also think that it all comes from the fact that she's a great human and she should be the leader of this new society. Oh, okay, that's a bold play. That's a bold play for a leadership claim there. I like yeah. it. I like it. Um, number three. Create one law that bans something from Planet Next One forever and explain it briefly. There's an idea that John Rawls, the political philosopher, came up with called the original position. And it basically says that if everyone wasn't born yet and they didn't have physical form and, and they had to walk through a door and when they went through that door, they would get their physical form. But it would be complete luck what they got. So I might be female or male or able-bodied or disabled or, you know, whatever color of skin. Um, all... All the good thinking in the world comes from the idea that we could negotiate before we go through that door and we decide things. So we'd say, like, what happens if we go through that door and someone, one of us is disabled? What happens if one of us goes through there and one of us has this or that kind of impediment? Or, And so you would design a law. The law of all laws would be let's make it fair on the other side of that door before we walk through. And so essentially, that's a bit of a, a kind of trick answer, but it basically would be like, before we get to this planet, let's all negotiate on this ship and say, we don't know who we're going to be when we get there. So let's try and make it as equal as possible. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Question number four. And that, this, uh, that answer might also answer this one. Explain one truth about human nature or one ethical principle to live by that you've learned from experience that you think should apply on Planet Next One. I think it is that one. It's the idea that underneath our physical inequalities, we are metaphysically equal. Perfect. Right. Number five. Last week's pioneer was the um, digital thinker, Professor Pale Aurora. She had a question for you and it goes like this. She said, innovators typically design for the default user. And that's usually a white male who's middle class, typically living in the West. And obviously that neglects the overwhelming majority of the world's population. So how can we, her question to you is, how can we put the billions of what she calls the marginalized majorities at the center of our innovation? And how would that change innovation? I love that. Can I just say to her, what a great question. And, and, and nobody knows this, but Vice used to be called Voice. And we had to drop the O because we got sued. And it was precisely for that reason that we wanted to put those voices in the middle. Um, how do we do it? I think we, st we become cool. So when I say cool, I mean conscious of other life. And we make our leaders, force our leaders to become conscious of other life. I don't know how we do that bit. But um, yeah, when people say the word cool, um, I, I always say that, 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 you know, it means to be conscious of other life. And I think that the more aware we are of these other, you know, other communities, other networks, the more we start to be able to design for them, the more we start to break out these stereotypes that we talked about with demographics. Thank you. Question number six. Identify a question to ask next week's pioneer, who will be Ifosa Ajomo of the Clayton Christian Institute for Disruptive Innovation. Ooh, brilliant. Love Craig and Christian. Um, okay, so I would say if liberalism isn't, if liberalism has got us, you know, through the past maybe 300 years, 200 and something years, it doesn't necessarily it's not necessarily going to be the thing that takes us to the next, you know, 400 years. What is another system that somewhere in approximately our orbit right now that we could think of that looks like it could help us now? Because I think if we're starting to see people move against liberalism and move against liberal values, which, by the way, I'm a massive fan of, but it seems that not everyone is. What could we replace it with that would do the job a bit better? 
Wow, deep question. That is that I'm looking forward to the answer to that. All right, thank you so much, thank Mark. Thank you. With those six questions answered, you can take your backpack, <laughs> get on the ship, travel to next one, and help the brands there leverage communities and network effects to the best of your ability. Mm -hmm.